Hi guys! If you are familiar with Chaco Tacos, this is the original and here is the homemade version we are making today. They have a crisp waffle cone shell that's filled with lots of vanilla ice cream, then topped with a melted chocolate coating and don't forget the peanuts. They are a perfect treat for summer or Cinco de Mayo which is coming up, so be sure to keep on watching! and join the fiesta. These homemade waffle cone shells only have five ingredients and are bigger and better, which means more ice cream and chocolate. All we are going to do is combine half of a cup of sugar and two whole eggs with two whites. The extra egg whites just give the waffles more of a chewy texture. By the way, I had so much fun recreating this recipe. So guys, if you are new to my channel and enjoy seeing recipe videos, make sure you click subscribe. I upload twice a week. After adding in the eggs, give them a whisk. This takes a little bit of muscle to thoroughly blend the mixture. And once the eggs are lighter in color, I'm going to go ahead and sift in one and one third cups of flour with half a teaspoon of salt. Sifting helps ensure there are no lumps and the batter comes together really nicely. I'm folding that in until the flour is no longer visible and it is time to add our butter and vanilla. I'm pouring in 4 tablespoons of butter that I have melted. Let it slightly cool off first, you don't want it to be straight out of the microwave. And for some extra flavor, going in is 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract. It will be a silky, smooth consistency when you finish fully incorporating everything. Now you can either scoop the batter onto a waffle maker or a skillet works fine too if you don't have one. Today I'm using my waffle maker and turning the dial onto the 2.5 setting. Remember to always spray with some non-stick and place 3 full tablespoons of the batter in the center. A minute 37 seconds later. You have a golden delicious waffle after only a minute and 37 seconds. While it is still hot, remove your waffle and press the mold the shape around a taco rack or a wooden spoon. This waffle was hot so I recommend using gloves for this part. And while they are cooling off, I'm sharing a few tips and tricks that make the filling process much easier. You are going to need a box of ice cream sandwiches, some chocolate melt, and peanuts. Let's melt the chocolate by heating in the microwave 30 seconds at a time and brush the inside of the hardened shells to coat with an even layer of chocolate. It doesn't need to be perfect, but it's important to work quickly. And if you need to zap your chocolate for a few seconds in the microwave, it will bring it back to life. Not only is this chocolate coating very tasty, but it keeps the ice cream from making the shell soggy, so it's a win-win situation. I'm popping the chocolate coated shells in the freezer for 10 minutes and lightly crushing the peanuts. We still want them to be crunchy, so there's no need to overdo this. And my easy trick to fill with the ice cream is to take an ice cream sandwich and remove the outer layer, then plop it into the shell. I use four of them for each taco by lining the bottom with two and slicing the next two in half to get them in there. In between, you may need to make a few trips to the freezer because the ice cream starts to melt, but trust me, it's worth it. The ice cream will firm up again and you can spread it to the edges of the shell. This method is so much easier than putting the ice cream in a piping bag and having to wear insulated gloves. Our taco looks amazing already, but we are going to cover over the ice cream and edges by dipping in more melted chocolate and topping it off with the crushed peanuts. Again, this should be a speed round because once the ice cream makes contact with that warm chocolate, the temperature difference makes it harden very fast and you don't want it to dry before you sprinkle on all your peanuts. I gotta say, this is one epic ice cream taco, and I think my buddy here approves too. It is too good for you not to try, so definitely do. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's Christina here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.